Well, God bless you. God bless you. Kingdom greetings. I am prophetess Dr. Gwendolyn Bradley, and you have just tuned in and tapped into a move of God. I'll say that again. You just tapped into a move of God. This is Women in Ministry TV broadcast, live YouTube channel, and this is the Fresh Fire, Fresh Fire presentation on today or whenever you are joining because the Lord wants to release a fresh fire in a new zeal into your life, no matter what your assignment is. And we all are called to rule and reign and take authority in different sectors of our society in different sectors of the community in the seven mountains. And I pray, pray that you have taken your place your rightful place where God has called you to because it's your time to rule and to reign because the Lord placed his anointing on your life. You have the power. The, the doors are open. You can go through. You can enter in. And you know, I love this time of year and I don't know about you, but I am sensing in the realm of the spirit that something has shifted, something has changed. The direction of the wind blowing has changed its course and we are now in a new season. And I mean that physically and I mean that spiritually as well. As today, if you're viewing this, this broadcast, this live broadcast, this is the first day of a new season. This is the month, the Hebrew month of Iyar, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. And if not, all of you that study the Hebrew calendar, God's calendar, God shifted me long time ago. Um, here in America, we're on the Gregorian calendar. And according to the Gregorian calendar, this is the fourth month of the year. And we can work that too. Because, you know, it was in the fourth month according to Ezekiel 1 and 1, that he was standing by the Shabar brook, that body of water, while he was there in captivity in Babylon. And God called him by way of a vision. The heavens were open. That was on the fourth and during the fourth month. And I believe that the heavens are open this month for you as well. Even if you look in Revelation chapter four, verse one, it talks about John the Revelator that he experienced an open heaven right there on the Isle of Patmos and the heavens were open and he heard God saying, come up hither. And I wanna speak to someone right now that is viewing this live broadcast, this fresh fire broadcast that God is calling you up hither. He's calling you up to another level. He wants to speak to you. He wants to release strategies to you. If you really want a strategy that will work and that will cause you to prosper in your business or even in your profession or in your ministry, it's going to, it's going to require you coming up higher, coming up higher in the realm of the spirit so that you can hear what the Lord is speaking to you in this new season that we are now in. So let's pray. As I said, this is an open heaven, open heaven over you. Yes, amen, open heaven over you. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking concerning your needs on today. Ah, this is breakthrough moment. This is breakthrough moment. The Lord is releasing a breakthrough over your home. He's releasing a breakthrough over your business. He is releasing a breakthrough over you in this new month, this Hebrew month of Ayar, Ayar, that we have now come into. So let's pray. Father, we thank and we praise you for those that are that you have called into this particular broadcast, this fresh fire broadcast here on the Women in Ministry TV. 
broadcast, this live YouTube channel. We thank you for the visionary of this ministry, Evangelist Jacqueline. And we just speak life, 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 expansion, 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 enlargement of this of this platform so that the gospel can go forth into the nation. So, Father, will you touch your people and will you open the heavens over them? Cause everything that they set their hands to prosper during this season to go forth in power and authority in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, so this is the month of Ayar, and I want to tell you what you can expect in this particular month that we are in. This Hebrew month is exciting, and I can't wait to share it with you. So will you travel with me? Take your Bible out if you can. If not, you can come back and view the broadcast later and take down these particular scriptures. And why don't you study for yourself and be prepared and be positioned for the outpouring during this new Hebrew month that we're in. And um, I do believe in getting prepared and positioned for the season. You know, um, I always pray that the Lord will release a Issachar anointing upon my life, that I will be familiar with the times and the seasons. So I pray that on your life as well. So let us get into the word. Amen. Okay. Let us look here. Now, when we look at the month of Iyar, it's not referred to that in the some places in the scripture. Uh, look at 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 1. And it says, it was in the mid-spring, in the month of Ziz, during the fourth year. There's that four again. Oh, my. Let me tell you, God is moving through the number four. And somebody, I don't know who I'm speaking to. But God said, you're being called into the nation. You're being called. There's a door opening for you in Europe. And God's going to prepare the way. And you know what? It's going to be all right. God's already gone before you. He's already prepared a place for you. And there's no need for you to fear. I know we're in the midst of uh, coming out of a pandemic. But you know what? God is not consulting the pandemic to do to determine whether he wants to release you into your purpose right now. So get ready, get ready, man of God, woman of God. You're being released into the nation during this fourth month. God is getting ready. You're going to get a phone call. You're going to get an email on this month, this fourth month, that the heavens are open according to Ezekiel 1 and 1 and also Revelation 4 and 1. And here we are looking at the number four. It says the fourth year of Solomon's reign that he began to construct the temple of the Lord. And that's again, first King chapter six, verse one. This is the beginning. Some of you, you've been thinking about going into ministry. Is this a good time for me to plan a ministry? Is this a good time for me to plant the house of prayer? Is this a good time for me to plant the, the, the business? Let me tell you, this is the season to build. This is the season to construct, to begin to build the plans, that the plans will come together that he has given you. So here we are in the month of Ziz. Ziz, and you know, another name for it is Iyar. I think the Ziz may be a Canaanite, Canaanite uh, origination, but Iyar is Hebrew. And it is, what is the significance of the month of Iyar to Christianity? God is our source of healing through Christ. I'll say that again. God is our source of healing through Christ. We have access to God's divine healing and supernatural provision through the blood of Jesus Christ. So here we are teaching on the blood again and declaring our healing. As we did this last month, as we were in the midst of Resurrection Sunday, you know, there is a lot of healing that is needed. Many of you have been pressing in, not only for yourself, but for your family members, as we are on, I believe that we're on the tail end of COVID. And many have experienced uh, even after effects from COVID. But I want you to know, and I want to remind you, as we talked about last month, that God is our source of healing. And we do have access to God's divine healing in supernatural provision 
through the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Lord gave us this month, this month that we're in, the month of the yard, to remind us of what has taken place, you know, on the cross. A yard is in between Passover and Pentecost. And in between Passover and Pentecost, you know, Jesus went to the cross, but he didn't stay on the cross. They put him in the grave, but he didn't stay in the grave. He got up from the grave, exercising his authority over any limitation that the enemy would try to place on him or on either one of us. There are no limitations. The limitations have been removed. And he got up from the grave. Not only did he get up, but he walked out of the tomb. And you're going to walk out of your dead situation. You're going to walk out of your limitation. You're going to see those chains being broken. That limitation for your healing is coming forth now. It's coming forth speedily. So he revealed himself. You know, many did not believe that he had resurrected from the grave, even though he told them, he told the apostles, he shared with the disciples that he was going to rise. He was going to rise. He was going to be resurrected, but they couldn't really, uh, couldn't comprehend it, couldn't understand it. So in order that there may be proof in the earth, what happened during Passover to Pentecost, Jesus, once he resurrected, he revealed himself to many people. So the Lord is going to reveal himself in the midst of your situation. He's going to show you that cancer has no authority over you, that that sickness and disease, that diagnosis has no authority over you. He's 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 already broken the chain. He's already uh, he's already died on the cross, and he uh, the blood of Jesus is available, has been made available available to all of our need. So it also in the month of the yard. What is the significance of Christianity? Jesus Christ, God's spiritual manna, takes away our spiritual hunger and saves us from eternal death. I don't know about you, but I'm always hungering and thirsting for more of God. I refuse to be complacent and held in a place, held in a boundary, held in a certain growth. Let me tell you, there is more for you. I say there is more, more anointing, more fire that has been made available to you and you can tap into it. You need to position yourself for the more. So this is the second of the 12 Hebrew months of the biblical calendar. It is a month that connects, as I shared with you, Passover with the previous month of Nisan on to Pentecost is observed next month in the Hebrew month of Savan. So it is, it is before the Israelites' captivity in Babylon, this month was referred to as the month of Ziv, which means splendor or radiance because of the brightness of the sun. Did you hear what I just said? The splendor in the radiance of the sun. And not only the S-U-N, people of God, but the S-O-N is going to reveal his light in your dark situation. There is a splendor coming forth. There is a radiance coming forth. There is a whoo, glory coming forth into your life. The glory of God. Ah, just like we talked about the prophet Ezekiel, who on the fourth month, during the fourth month, as he was by the brook, in the heavens were open. And God revealed himself to Ezekiel. And the Lord is going to reveal himself to you with all of his radiance, with all of his splendor. There is a darkness that you're dealing with right now. But I want to let you know that that darkness has been removed. Instead of that darkness, the radiance, in the glory of God shall come forth. As I said, that during this month, acronym, the acronym um, for
for in this month of Iyar, I am God, your healer. And that is based upon Exodus 15 and 26. So the Lord is speaking to us that he is our healer. And you know, healing comes in many different ways. It comes in many different ways. Um, I think about, I think about some of the natural healing methods that God has given us. You know, the modern education, uh, the modern healing methods that we have, there, God has the total healing plan. He has the total packet, and he knows your body more than anybody. And even though we do have physicians, God is the great physician. Jesus is a great physician. So if you are in need of healing, and I know that you have a physician in the physical, but the Lord said he wants to be your great physician because there is a strategy concerning your healing that needs to come exactly, comes needs to come from him. So in this month of ER, you can begin to seek God for that strategy concerning your healing. And he might want to reveal a plant to you. He might want to reveal a supplement to you. He may want to say, drink more water. He may say, get more rest. But there are different methods of healing that the Lord has placed in the earth. So uh, Exodus 15 and 26. So this month is also commonly referred to as the month of natural healing. And so on the first day of Ayar, following three days without water, in the sure desert, the thirsty Israelites found water at Maro, but the water was bitter. So in their distress, the people complained to Moses. So Moses prayed to God and asked him for help. In response to Moses' prayers, God showed him a tree and directed Moses to cast it into the water. Moses followed God's direction and the water miraculously became sweet. And God then promised that if Israel followed his ways, the disease I have placed on Egypt, I will not place upon you for I am the Lord, your healer. Oh my. Let's go back to that morrow, meaning bitterness. And this being the month of healing, people of God. Some of you may be watching right now and you are in a time of bitterness because what has happened to you. I think about Naomi who was going through bitterness. She said, don't call me Naomi, call me Maro for I am bitter. Listen, people, God, some situations that you go through in life I don't know who I'm talking to. Everybody. There are some situations that we go through in life that will leave you in a bitter place because people, people, oh my, people can hurt you. People can say things that are very, very mean. You can go through some rough places in life that will leave you in a bitter state, but that is not and shall not be your portion that you remain in that bitter place. The Lord is releasing his strategy of healing. And I speak healing over your mind, healing over your emotions, and healing over your spirit on this day during this month where you, your season has changed. And instead of you walking in that bitterness, you need to receive, we can receive the healing that has already been provided for us. No longer will our name be moral, but our name shall be radiant. Our name shall be sweetness. Our name shall be faithful. We shall no longer walk in the bitterness that the enemy wants us to walk into. And sometimes when you walk in that place of bitterness, you can put so many walls up. And even if God were to send someone into your life that would be able to speak a word of encouragement over your life, you, we, we don't receive what they have to say. But God is sending a tree. So many times in the word of God, when you see trees, they represent people. And I want to let you know that God is sending someone in your life. And that's going to be your solution. 
He's gonna, that's going to be your solution. They have the word of God in their mouth. They have the word of fire in their mouth to burn away that bitterness that have held you. And I even hear 15 years because it was 15 years, you know, uh, Isaiah uh, gave the word to, to, to the prophet, get to the man of God, uh, Hezekiah. He said 15 more years. I want to tell you, listen, you may have been in a place for 15 years, but the the power of God is visiting you right now while the heavens are open. The power of God is coming upon you right now. No longer shall you walk in that bitterness. Listen, I want to go ahead and finish telling you what this month represents. This year, this new season that we're in because our season has changed. It also means that the Lord is our healer. Iyar is a special month in God's biblical calendar because it symbolizes a time in which God supernaturally provided for his people in the wilderness. Oh my. When you look at Exodus 16, verse two through five, we see God providing manna, bread from heaven. God fed the Israelites for 40 years while traveling in the desert. And for 40 years, he provided everything that they needed. Their shoes did not even wear out. And in Exodus 16, 2 through 5, we see not long after the Israelite escaped Egypt and crossed the Red Sea that they ran out of the food supply they had brought with them. So as you know, as the Israelites usually do, they begin to cry out and they begin to complain. Don't complain about where you are right now. Instead of complaining, why don't you take that need before the Lord? Because God is your provider. I know it seems like your 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 um you have many responsibilities concerning real estate. You have many responsibilities concerning your mortgage even paying for your car, your, your children's education. If there's not one thing, there is another. But woman of God, you need to remember that God is Jehovah. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And that need that you have, that the Lord will provide for you. Now, that's how he ended up providing the bread from heaven. And there is bread from heaven representing your provision that is coming to your house, that is coming upon your situation. Exodus 16 and 15, when the people of Israel saw it, they said to one another, what is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, it is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. Oh my God. So you know that the word manna literally means, what is it? And let me tell you, God has something that is set aside for your provision during this season. Manna from heaven. The manna from heaven is coming to your time of need. The manna from heaven, the provision from heaven, the supernatural provision is coming upon your situation. Oh my. So Christ is our healer. He is our bread of life. He said, I am the bread of life that your fathers ate in the wilderness. Look, the same God that helped your grandmother make it through, the same God that helped our ancestors make it through, the same God that helped you last year, the same God that helped you to intervene in your situation three years ago is the same God that we trust in right now. So let me tell you something else about the radiance that we start talking about, you know, ziv meaning radiance in splendor. This is a favorable time. What does favorable time mean? It means that the heavens are open and you have access to the throne with much favor. Ask whatever you stand in need of. And I just heard something. Look, 
your prayers have been answered. I said, your prayers have been answered. Many of you have been crying out. You have been, you have been going before the Father in the midnight hour, the power hour. You have been going before the Father during the noontime hour, during that watch, the midday watch. You have been going before the Lord at the night watch. I want to tell you that your radiance has come. Your breakthrough has come. Your, the Lord has heard your prayer as you have been seeking him in your season has changed in this month of the yard. Listen, I, if I were you, I would not miss out on seeking God during this time that the heavens are open and that there is a radiance and there is a splendor that's coming from the throne room of God. The sun, the S-O-N, wants to visit your situation right where you are. So in the name of Jesus, for this month of Iyar, Father, we thank you for providing us both our physical food for our bodies and the spiritual food for our soul. And we proclaim that you are our provision. You are Jehovah Jireh. You supply all of our needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 and 19. We declare that Jesus is the bread of life and we partake of him every day by praying, reading his word, and listening for the Holy Spirit. As we focus on the Lord, we shall be nourished spiritually. Father, you are the Lord, our healer. And it is your will that we be healthy and whole. Therefore, every attack that is coming against our health, every attack that is coming against our finances, our healing virtue, we curse it from the root in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for healing our spirit, our body, and our soul. And we receive it on this day that our season has changed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, people of God. Amen. Come on, you need to put your hands together. Come on and receive that. Receive it right where you are. Your season has changed. Provisions are on the way to your house and your situation. Jesus is your bread. Come on. He is your great physician. Receive that healing. Your healing is on the way in the name of Jesus. Well, thank you so much, people of God. I just cannot appreciate enough the visionary of this ministry, Evangelist Jacqueline Battle. In Women in Ministry, Women in Ministry broadcast, live YouTube channel, we want to thank God for this platform that the gospel can go forth over the nation. And I want you to sow into what God is doing on this ministry, in this on this YouTube, this live YouTube channel. As the gospel goes forth, I share this platform with many, many more women. And we thank God for each one of them. And we speak protection over the women of God as they come forth on this platform to bring and to deliver the word of God so that salvation, healing, and breakthrough can be ushered in to the souls, into the nations, in the mighty name of Jesus. So um, why don't you sow into dollar sign, Women in Ministry TV, God bless you. God bless you. We thank God for you joining on today. We thank God for your time. And please know that the heavens are open. Position yourself to hear strategies. Position yourself for the healing you're believing God for. He's going to share with you. The Lord is going to speak to you in reference to a strategy. Maybe there will be a herb or maybe some supplement that you need to take maybe you need to drink more water maybe you need to move more but the lord is speaking the heavens are open he's saying come up higher come up hither for i have something that i want to show you and speak to you in this season so god we just thank you 
And why don't you join us next week here, Fresh Fire, same time, same day. We look forward to having you. God bless you.